you know, as I sit here right now, realizing we're only about 22 episodes into this playthrough, I find it kind of hard to believe we're already past the halfway point. Like, the original playthrough was about 50 videos, but that was because back then, YouTube had a video time limit. Well, that and I was using a shitty camera, but... <laughs> but now, we are 22 videos in, and we're nearly done with the game. We have one gym left, three cups, and then... We still have to do Kids Club. I mean, we haven't shown off Kids Club. And Kids Club's basically the greatest part. But anyway, hello everyone, welcome back to our Pokemon Stadium. I don't want to talk about last gym. It wasn't fun. Poke Cup also wasn't fun, and now we're about to do Prime Cup. So Prime Cup Ultra Ball! Just like Poke Cup, this is the part where things get hard. So, I'm not even going to go over how things are going to play out, we're going to see it. Unlike Poke Cup, however, we don't have to worry about level differences. Why is there Zard on this team? Hold on, hold on. Hang on a second, hold on. Let me pull up this list. Let me pull up this list. I must have screwed up something. Uh, let's pop it up. Prime Cup Pokeball. Prime Cup Great Ball. What? What the f Are you serious? Um. Hold on. Hold on another second. What do you have? Oh, never mind. That explains it. <laughs> that explains a lot. We have a fire move. Alright, fine. Let's use him. As always, the Q Ball is a non threat, so we don't need to. What the hell is that? Why is there a Ditto on this team? Well, never mind, forget what I said! The, the the Q bow is now suddenly a threat out of nowhere. So right away, Ditto is a problem. Outside of that, we see a lot of fire weaknesses, and by that I mean two. Only two. There's a water weak mon. I think we take this is a simple one, I think. Zard doesn't really have any moves going for him. And he gets literally erased by both Dugong and Electrode. But the problem is... I want to take Zard, but... At the same time... I feel like I should take Dugtrio. Because Ditto. So I'm thinking here... Arcanine is a thing, so I think we should lead Dugong, take Dugtrio, wait, water type, ground type, ground is to water, um, Electrode? Okay, my game, my TV volume is super low, so I didn't get to hear all that, but what he said. So, Butterfree lead. Pretty sure I can just hit you with a Roar Beam and not have to worry about a thing. What do you possibly have? He probably has Hyper Beam. I know that the cue ball likes to yeah! use that move. I got an attack drop! So even if he does Hyper Beam me, it's not gonna... Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> String shot! Oh, you have got to be kidding me, dude. Swift? What will it do? A minor hit. That's it, nothing. You're dead. Goodbye. We also don't have ice beam, by the way. So yeah, this is basically our ice beam. Have fun. What Let's enjoy it while it lasts because it sucks. I don't like Aurora Beam compared to Ice Beam. Mr. Oh, Mime! Mr. Mime. <laughs> okay, what can Mr. Mime Pokemon do? Are entirely different types. I'm not going to Horn Drill. I'm going to see how much Surf does. Barrier? It improves its defense. What? Why would you barrier? What's this? Whatever. Let's see how much it does. Okay, that's a two-hit KO. 
we're definitely using that again. Dugong, hard carrying us. Double slap? What that? He missed! Oh, that's a miss. Okay! <laughs> the bear hit. Oh, come on! Are you serious? There's a big difference in. Alright, hit him with the old headbutt. Double slap again. What now? This dude actually gets four of them. That did nothing. What are you doing, dude? Goodbye. Oh, I know I said before I was only gonna go for guaranteed kills, but he had two HP. The There's only the chance I was not gonna kill him was if I missed. Alright, so it's his last mod then. Oh, it's Arcana! Oh, well that's just the perfect thing that we're up against. Okay, let's just use Surf and he's fucked. The and then we win. Has become one Wait, what? It's Why are you using off. agility? You're already faster than me! Right, that, sir. Is the AI just dumb in the first two battles or something? Wow, I didn't kill him in one hit. That sucks. Okay, fine. We'll save him in another one. Oh, there we go. There's a move. Okay, never mind. I just have to make sure my delay is on. Because the, the last Unbound episode did have some recording problems because they didn't check things properly. Also, we won. <laughs> that battle took longer than it should have, but you know, string shot. String shot. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Alright, Rocket, what do you have? Wow, you have certainly increased your number of mods weak to psychic. So, speaking of weak to psychic, half of this team is weak to psychic, so we're taking Kadabra. We're taking Dugon because of the rock, because of the ground weak mods, which half of them are weak to ground. And then Omastar ex exists. It exists. Dude, why the hell does Gengar still have a shitty Musa? I mean, we really only need... Let's take a lecture for the Omen Star. Otherwise, this is basically just gonna be the Kadabra Dugong show. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Weez Act One. Your coloring is different. I mean, it won't matter if you're dead, so, you know. What? Oh boy, what did he bring? Almost act six! I, I got a crit and a special drop, so he's literally screwed. Cadaver already coming in and... Stomping all over everything, but of course. There, it's a hit. Did we even have Kadabra in the last down. one? I don't even remember. Which Pokemon is coming out? I've been focused on other things in between episodes. Nido Act Two, because literally like yesterday, it was top. super badly snowing, and there is a lot of snow What's outside. It? Like, it looks utterly disgusting. Like there is a lot of snow out there. Nido Queen is dead, by the way. Alright, last mod, let's go. Send in the Weezing again so I can one-shot it with Psychic. We're down to the last Why did you even switch out to Omastar? Like, the that crit was literally just a matter of me getting lucky. The, the special drop didn't one help one my case either. Yo, I wish I could have gotten those in situations where I actually did. I hate you so much right now, game. Why can't I get these things when I need them? Like, literally in the past two videos, I have had crucial near win moments when I could have used, like, crits and special drops in order to win, and I get none of them and then lose because I don't get any of them. 
And yet now I get... Oh, it's the Judo Boy again, so we basically auto-win by default. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, so... Here's the thing. We leave Kadabra. We take Electro because... Scyther and Ra... I mean, Psy and Ra are both weak to Electric. And then we take Dog Trio for the road. <laughs> oh my god, I love these names. They're so stupid. But yeah, this is a pretty straightforward one. Anything that's not weak to Psychic just gets destroyed by something else. Plus, he always wastes one turn. The upcoming battle looks promising. We're into round three. Champ. But yeah, this guy's problem is he will always waste one turn. Changing Pokemon. You that too? Pokemon right Where are you goal. switching into? Oh, Kate! Well, congratulations, pal! You have now wasted two turns! What'll it leave with? How much are we doing to this thing? Wow. Okay, the if it does not speed me, it's screwed. Continue. Why would you? I am utter... Nice crit, oh, by the way. I am utterly baffled as to why he's decided to do that. I don't get it. You literally switched in Radicate just to die because I outsped it. Oh, Polygraph. Okay, this thing might live one. It beats the Psyche, but it has a lot of health. I am also faster than it. What's this? Oh, never mind. It didn't live. I either it was either guaranteed or that was just a high roll. A I think we'll never know. And now let's let this champ. <laughs> Are you okay? Dude? We're just... down to the last I don't want to say anything else because I know I'm gonna jinx the myself. But... Count is three to one. But... Wow. <laughs> the battle has become one <laughs> I think the game was showing me mercy after the whole Blaine situation happened. When I got horn drilled. Wow, that didn't take much. Speaking of horn drill, next up is you know who. So we should be expecting more shenanigans. Alright, now it's time to get serious. Those may have been a nice prelude, but now it's time for the real battles to start. We are like 12 minutes in, by the way. We are 12 minutes in, and we have finished three times. Oh my god, it's gotten worse! So out of all these mods, the only one that doesn't learn a one hit KO move is the Clefable. I, I mean the Fable Clef. So right away, two more half of his team is weak to water. You wanna know what the problem is with that though? Rapidash is incredibly fast! And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I mean, there is something I can do about it, and it's called Electrode, but I'm not switching it in on another one-hit KO move. So I feel like the thing I should do is lead Dugong anyway, in case he brings leads Golem or a Nido King. We need to take Electrode anyway, plus he has Dugong. So we're going to be bringing Electrode no matter what. So we're going to take Dugong, we're going to take Electrode, and we're going to take Kadabra because Psychic. Like, he's got high speed. Nice 269 speed. I mean, I could take Electro... I mean, Dugtrio. But I feel like taking Kadabra just for the sake of s huge damage is the better idea here. Otherwise, we need to worry about mainly Rapidash. Because I know that thing is fast. Everything else in this team, I should have almost no issues with. As long as he doesn't paralyze me. Excitement is building. This is round four. Gongdu. All right, so Dugong lead is problematic because I have a bad feeling about this thing not speeding me. So we're gonna switch to Electrode immediately. Changing Pokemon. That Pokemon. If he horn drills me, that means he outspeeds. Oh, he was switching too. What did he bring in? Pedashra? Oh yeah, this thing outspeeds me. Without without a doubt. I'm thunder waving it. I don't care. 
Then it will never outspeed me again. Bodies. Yup, here it is. What now? He yeah, fucking parried me. This is what he does. This is what he does. Now the rest of his team does outspeed me. Meaning Electrode's basically a dead mon. But now we can just freely surf this thing unless we get parried. Okay, good. He might switch out. Because Dugong can take a hit from my Dugong. And you might want to... Never mind, he's, he's staying in. He might be trying to body slam me. I don't know if I can one-shot you, though. Never mind. So, Dugong can also learn Body Slam, which might have been his original plan had I not wed with Dugong. So, here's the problem. I don't know if I outspeed or not. We might speed tie. What I think I should do, though, is... He has a 30% chance to instant kill my Electrode. Which is kind of the big thing I'm worried about. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to switch an Electrode. I'm doubting I'm getting a continue out of this anyway, so I feel like it would be a better idea to sack off my dead Electrode than preserve it, because it's already paralyzed. Bubble Beam? He got a fucking crit, and I'm dead. He's not even going to bother with Horn Drill. He's not even going to bother with Horn Drill. Yeah, he doesn't have a reason to. What will it do? Oh. Wow. Well, that sucks. So Alright, so now we need to not get parried by body, by the upcoming body slam. What or Pokemon get enough speed it? drops so that he outspeeds me. Because if that happens, then we lose. Because oh, I don't know if my Dugong outspeeds his or not. He was trying to lower my speed. So I feel like that's what he was... He was he's actually slower than me. What's this? The bear hit. Oh no, that doesn't do enough. If he gets enough speed drops, he's gonna start horn one drilling down. me. There, it's a hit. He didn't get one. Good. We also have recover, so if my health gets low and he never Back speed drops me, we can literally heal for free. So what I wanna get here is a What's special that? drop mainly. Good, because now I'll do less damage. He got a crit and a speed drop! Uh-oh, that's actually really bad. He might outspeed me now. Either this or whatever comes in. I'm still faster and good. Like, if whatever his last mon is is dumb slow, we are no issues. But if There's it's fast, then that's when the problems start. Oh, it's Never mind, it's Golem. We basically win. This thing is slow as molasses. So what I'm gonna do the is... You're gonna use a physical move. I'm probably gonna die here. So I'm just gonna psychic. Like, this thing is slow as molasses. We got crit, that means. Wow, that did a lot. Wait, what? It's a psychic type now. Actually, that's really bad. It's a psychic type with tons of defense. I'm gonna recover. It's a psychic type with tons of defense, but like no special. What now? Yeah, it's a hit. Ow. Neither Wait, it's a psychic type with no hit. special! Even if this resists, I can still kill him! What next? Oh. There we go! Oh. Is it down and out? Okay, well that wasn't so bad. We did get one in KO mood because I was proactive about dealing with the fastest Monty brought, which was the Rapidash. Dugong didn't have to do a thing because we ran into a Ditto situation. Alright, nice. I feel like that kind of makes up for me doing horribly on Blaine with that gigantic misplay. 
So we just kind of had to use our heads a little bit there. And that's kind of how we played the second half. Well, at least how we're supposed to. Not do what I did during Blaine and literally brain fart to the max degree. So next time, we're going to do the second half. And it's not going to be fun. It's going to be pretty brutal. So I'll see you then.